investigation, it's not over. Is Yaron Vandersloot's father, Paulus, going to be arrested? On the record, obtains a letter. You're going to see it. Coming up, there is more news tonight in the Natalie Holloway investigation. Now, we got our hands on a letter, a letter that could land your on Vandersloot's father and others in jail soon. We're going to show you that letter. Plus, two friends of the Holloway family go on the record about your on Vandersloot's former headmaster. The headmaster spoke to your on and then spoke to the two family friends. They will tell you what the headmaster said and could a cover up have happened in Aruba. Vandersloot told us on tape that he sold Natalie Holloway on a beach in Aruba for about $10,000. Well, Euron now says he was lying to us. Well, was he? Or did he get cold feet having told us? One person wants action and wants it now. The Holloway family lawyer, John Q. Kelly. In a letter to the Aruban prosecutor given to us by the family of Natalie Holloway, Kelly says in part, a newly released videotape of Euron Vandersloot making statements against penal interests, admitting to kidnapping, human trafficking, conspiracy, and other crimes to Greta Van Susteren is readily available and independently corroborated by the undisputed fact that he was the last person with Natalie when she vanished from the beach by the fishermen's huts. That, coupled with the fact that he initially fabricated demonstrably false accounts as to what happened to Natalie and was accused by the Calpos of engaging criminal conduct in Natalie's disappearance. In a June 29, 2005 surreptitiously recorded audio tape, all providing more than sufficient legal basis for the immediate issuance of an arrest warrant for Yaron Vandersloot. Kelly says there is enough evidence to arrest Paulus Vandersloot and Deepak and Satish Kalpo. Now, will the Aruban prosecutor agree? Let's ask your legal panel. Joining us, Jim Hammer, former assistant DA of San Francisco and criminal defense attorney, Ted Williams and Bernie Grimm. Jim, you also went down there and confronted Paulus uh, for us with the tapes, or at least made available some the information. What do you think, knowing the standard in Aruba, which is less than here in the United States, what do you think about the John Q. Kelly letter that the family gave us? Well, I, I think even under their loose standard, you could, you could lock up your arm, but I think there's nothing to hold them with in that. I don't think we can put any faith in anything he says. I think the most damning thing, though, is said by Paulus, his father, the one I confronted down there. At the end of that entire tape, he says, listen, keep your mouth shut. Essentially, keep it secret. Don't cooperate with the authorities. I think that's a clear case of a conspiracy to obstruct justice, to keep the truth from the authorities. For a lawyer to do that, Greta, is damning, and he ought to be arrested. Bernie, the most peculiar aspect of this, I mean, we, we set out to prove or disprove what Yaron told us. We didn't know if that when he told us, he, he told us, he made us a statement about sale, then eight hours later says that's, that's a lie. We didn't know if he got cold feet and suddenly wished he hadn't said it or if indeed it was a lie. In, Yaron was arrested on June 9th, 05. On June 29th, 05, the letter that John Q, uh, the tape that John Q. Kelly refers to in this letter, is the three are in the back of a police truck and don't know they're being recorded, and they talk about her as though she were alive. Yeah, you know, you mentioned that before we started the show, and t to me, the statements that are most damning, and I think Jim Hammer would agree with me, are, are statements that people naturally make when there is no motive to lie and there is exactly they don't know they're being recorded and it's just said in a natural sort of element that to me is compelling now consider the fact that's not going to get him locked up and this last statement that he made to you it was, it's i thought there was a tremendous effort there but i simply don't believe him because he's here i mean he could say ted well, did it tomorrow okay, so. but, but the thing is it's, it's not a question of whether you believe him or not believe him because that's not the issue the issue is whether a prosecutor should go out and either attempt to prove or disprove what he has said and one of the things that was <coughs> supplied was a chip that Yaron says is a conversation with his father which you talk about yourself as a conversation his father assuming to be authentic and i I, have, I, you know, I, I wish the prosecutor would either authenticate it or disprove it. Um, he didn't know that he's going to be taped, and they actually talk <coughs> about trafficking and actually talk about it being a bad thing, and that's a perfect example. But Greta, there is a dichotomy between rearresting somebody and corroborating evidence. I believe that your, everything that in your interview needs to be corroborated. I think that the Aruban authorities need to follow up on the leads. But should there be a rearrest right now, I do not believe that uh, they would be able to hold your on at this time, I and I don't you, believe in a rearrest. I will tell you that here in the United States, they probably would not have enough, but they have a much lesser standard in Aruba. We were down there. And the one thing that needs to be done is that chip. 
if that chip that Yaron Vanderslope gave us of his father, then that's a whole different story if that is indeed an authentic one. Well, not only that, what about the Western Union calls? What about the cell phones? All of those I, things can be corroborated by the authority down there I, if they I'm will investigate saying, it. I'm just saying that what, what they, under the Aruban law, to arrest someone, since the standard is ever so slight, and frankly, I don't agree with the standard being ever so slight, that, Jim, if, if it turns out that that, uh, that, that conversation uh, was an authentic, was, was a real one between Yaron and his father at a time when he wouldn't have known he was <coughs> taped, and it is his father, Boy. Then, that's a whole, then, then there's problems for Paulus. If, then, if, if, then if. This is, if that's true and it's authenticated, granted, this is the, this is the craziest case we, we, we've ever talked about. I mean, and, and the thing that still troubles me is, give me another scenario by which his father would have uh, uttered the words human trafficking. I mean, it is such a, a distinctive thing to come out of his father's mouth, but the, the, the last thing, rather than do an arrest right now, they ought to do the spade work, the hard work of corroboration. If those wire tra uh, transfers could be proven, Greta, together with this story, then we've got a real, real dynamite piece of evidence here. And of course, but the, the thing is that you've got to have a willingness to either prove or disprove. And if, we, if you're not even bothered to do either, you're never going to find out. Yeah, I know what your point is, which is, you know, let the, let the cards fall where they may. He gets found guilty, not guilty, but at least do the legwork. Do, and I think what Jim's saying, you know, pe people think, and a lot of our people think cases are made by the CSI stuff. It's not. It's out knocking on doors, doing the legwork, serving subpoenas, getting cell phone records, Western Union exactly. records, all the stuff. I'll tell you, Ted, if, Ted. If, that, if that ship is the real deal, yeah. that changes everything wow. yeah, everything completely but you've got to at least if if it's the real deal but that's that Uran is telling us that it is um i don't know anyway panel stand by up next two friends of the holloway family give you important information about natalie's disappearance they spoke to Uran's former headmaster on aruba what might this headmaster know then our interview with Uran vandersloat is creating big <laughs> no, waves okay. tonight in Aruba, the Aruban Minister of Justice is paying attention, talking about the interview. He doesn't sound happy. Now cross your fingers. This might be good news, but maybe not for the prosecutor and your legal panel will return.